Welcome back to Phasmophobia. Since the last time I've learned a little bit more, keep watching Phasmophobia videos from other creators, especially Insim, who has, like, what is he, level 10,000 now? And in the last video of his that I watched, I learned that apparently you can take the EMF reader and if you hear some ghost activity on a nearby object, but you're not sure what it is, you can just pick up the EMF reader, walk around, and find the object. And if it's a pile of objects and you're not sure which one of it was actually moved, you can pick up objects and move them away from the EMF reader until it shuts off and you know that that's the object. And then you just put it back. And as long as the EMF reader is still going off, you can take a picture of it and get an interaction credit for it. So if I ever hear a door noise and I'm not sure which door the ghost touch, I can just take the EMF reader around until I get a reading off my door. Which is cool. Makes it seem pretty handy. So today, <clears throat> I think it's the Grafton farmhouse that I'm supposed to finish up before I go to the high school. But before I do that, I am going to pay a small visit to the Tanglewood Street House on Amateur so that I have five minutes to just goof around without having to worry about being hunted. And I'm just going to practice going around, uh, acting like I'm being hunted, opening doors and closing them behind me, etc. I'll practice uh, looping around the... Um, a table as if I'm being chased. I won't take anything in. And I just want to practice up because really I've only ever dealt with one, two, three, four. I've only dealt with four hunts. Two of them I hit from, two of them I died to. And I've never actually had to run from the ghost. I've had to quickly retreat into a place to hide, but I've never had to slam a door shut behind me. I've never had to loop a ghost behind. Well, I tried to loop a ghost behind the cat around the couch in the Willow House, but I got caught. And remember to check the whiteboard for help. There have been new reports of a cursed object nearby. This must be the reason that the ghost was summoned here. Take a look. You may be able to use it to your advantage. So I'm not expecting to do much here. I'm just going to go in and just. Maybe I can at least turn on the power. But I'm just going to go in and just goof around, opening doors, trying to... trying to loop around the... Uh, the kitchen uh, median. Why? Wow, it just can't see anything without a flashlight, huh? Completely stuck on everything. Fine, I'll go get the flashlight. Actually, it's best if I uh, get the flashlight and load up because if I do get hunted, I'm supposed to drop everything anyway. So why don't I go in with the, um, oh, I don't know, spirit box, I guess. Just for kicks, I'll turn it on. There's light switches around here. What, did I turn off the power again already? Don't do that. Leave it on. Okay, so let's say I'm just being looped by the ghost and I'm just trying to stay away from it and this is how I would do it. Or if I did it over here.
Oh, hi. <sighs> anyway, so let's say I need to hide in here really quick. Uh, okay, so this is a problem. That's going to be a problem. Having to close the door behind me. There's almost no chance of doing this. The mouse key, mouse and keyboard key user can do that really quickly, but I can't. So I'm not sure how well that's going to go. Okay, well. It'll be frustrating if I end up dying to a ghost because I can't close the door. That might be the best that I can do right now. Just for the time being, until I get more practice. Let's, um, let's see, it was messing with the lights a lot, or it was turning off the, um, it was turning off the power, so why don't I guess that it's a mare? And I'll just leave. Banshee. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Again, I hope not to get hunted. I want to avoid it as much as I can, of course. But you just never know. Might get a demon. Okay, so add all. Select job. Graft in farmhouse. Professional. Escape during a hunt, witness a ghost event, EMF reader. Okay, so, just like with uh, Bleasdale, there's a staircase going up right next to the entrance, but there, with the uh, other house, I think there were two more entrances here and here, but for this house, it's straight through into the back. I'm guessing that there's a table in here somewhere, and this would be another area to loop, but... What's different about this house is that inside these further rooms, there's further rooms inside of them. So these are very dangerous and dead ends. So I need to be careful about where I would choose to hide. And then the upstairs, this is another long dead end. And if I were to run from a ghost, if it was chasing me straight and I was going to hope to slam this door quickly, I don't think I'd be able to do it. So, I don't know how that's going to go. Fuse box is way the heck back here. So, in to the right, in, in, into the back. All right.
my bearings again. Yeah, it's already very cold out here, so I'm absolutely going to have to turn on the power. Oh, by the way, another practice. Oh crap, I'm being hunted. Not too hard. I might need this to find my way through doors, though. But I'll see about uh, turning on the power and then turning on some lights so that I can make my way around. There's another place I can loop. Okay, so I'm a little confused now. That's another way outside. Okay, so it's through here. And this is another good place to hide right here, maybe. Might as well just wait for the house to warm up. The heart's already beating. on. It's taking a while. Oh, that's right. I heard that there might have been a... I heard there might have been a bug with these houses that the uh, rooms have a hard time warming up. I'm already down to 80. Maybe, what if I were to
here, so I'm suspecting that it's upstairs. Okay, so an immediate right from up the staircase. Oof. The sanity goes down pretty quick. Keeping my sanity above 80% in case it's a yokai. Where are you? How old are you? What do you want? This ghost isn't giving anything up right now. I don't think it's freezing temps. But anything could change. Zero activity. Okay, um... Crucifix. What do I need? Ghost event? An EMF reader? Go for fingerprints soon. Where are you? Oh crap, it moved.
Where are you? What do you want? I believe a bone. Okay, we got dots, but no ghost orb. The good news is that rules out both a mimic and a demon. It does not rule out a yokai, so I still need to be careful. I'm going to be very quiet now. Okay, no fingerprints, no ghost writing yet. But you need to be careful how I roll things out. Seems to me I would have gotten freezing temps by now. Ghost orb is definitely rolled out. Oh, a Diogen. Wouldn't that be great? Diogen or a Gorio? Spirit box. And ghost writing. Yuma 5 and fingerprints. Oh, Wraith and Phantom. I didn't notice these two possibilities. Okay. Oh, Ghost Orb. I don't know why I didn't see that before. Okay. So it could be a Thay, which is even worse. A Yokai, which hunts early when you speak. Banshee isn't too bad. A Raiju, <laughs> a Raiju is fast around equipment. A Yokai hunts at 80%, and a Thay, if it hasn't aged, is incredibly fast. Now, the Thay 
tends to be very active when you first enter, and I didn't see that, so maybe that's not it. But I've got to rule all of these out. Could potentially be a URA, too. So basically, I have to figure out what the third evidence is to really determine what this is. I'm going to take another different camera, another camera in. And what I can do is put down some salt. But before I do that, if I really wanted to guard myself against a hunt, I'd take a smudge stick in. Okay, the reason I didn't say anything is because I didn't want to potentially anger a yokai. So I got my third piece of evidence. Is this ghost what I hope it is? Could it be? <gasps> it's a fae. They're very fast. Okay, I have some bandwidth to go in and try to get a ghost picture. But the problem is, is, if it hits my sanity hard, it could drop to 75 and it could decide to hunt. That would be nasty. Phase are very, very fast if they haven't aged. I got some real good photos so far, though. That's pretty impressive. Got the bone, got the cursed object. If I could finish it off with a picture of the ghost, that would be nice. Um, Marcia Martinez. Marsha Martinez. Marsha Martinez. Marsha Martinez. All right, that's as much as I'm going to try. Now, if a they ages even just a few steps, it's slow enough to escape. And at its highest age, it won't even hunt until everything drops down to temp or the sanity drops down to 10%. And at that point, it's so slow, you can just probably just stay ahead of it by walking. But I'm going to call that good. I mean, I got six, five three-star pictures. I'd say that's pretty good. Um, no ghost events happened. And it, it's kind of odd that it wasn't very active when I first arrived. Maybe it was, but it was all upstairs, so I didn't notice. Let me just double-check my evidence. Definitely dots, definitely ghostwriting, definitely ghost storm. So it's definitely a thay. Okay, done with this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to do two more at this house. Maybe I'll do one more. I don't know. It depends on how the next one makes me feel. Because this house... These farmhouses really creep me out. Welcome back. Hey. I've got some jobs ready for you. 165. No ghost events. None even happened. 
And that's odd. Thays are supposed to be immediately defensive when you enter. Unless I'm uh, remembering wrong. Oh, only 13 rooms in this house. Okay, same deal. We've arrived. Check the equipment and get set up before investigating. And remember to check the whiteboard for help. New intel. Reports of light switching. Possibly harmless, but be careful out there. Shelly Shipman. Repel with a smudge stick, cleanse the area with a smudge stick, and escape during a hunt. Well, I mean, <laughs> two and four seem to be uh, tightly tied together, but, um, you know, I really don't want to do that. Okay, main threats when I first enter, it can always be a, um, a demon, a mimic imitating a demon, or a yokai. Deciding spot. I'm gonna retreat for just a minute while the house warms up since I have all the doors open. Let me uh, turn on a light here. saying too much while I'm in there. In case it's a yokai.
Okay. Immediate right after I enter. I hate getting freezing temps because it means that it could be a demon. But not a yokai, but it could be a mimic. If it's not a yokai, or it could be a mimic imitating a yokai, so it still puts me at threat. So I'll take this just in case. Where are you? What do you want? How old are you? I hope that when I do the high school that it's uh more comfortable for me. Dang, I only have one smudge stick, which means I can only go for the one objective, which is fine for me because I don't want to go for the other one. What's the other one? Cleanse, chase, and escape? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, I'll put this one outside the room. Sanity, 97. What I don't know is if when you hear a door open, if that always means that the ghost is in that vicinity or if a, a door in the house is just randomly opening. Okay, I don't see a ghost orb. Still could be dealing with a demon. That's risky. Oops. Sanity. 92. Okay, fingerprints could still be dealing with a demon. That makes me nervous. I know we're not dealing with a wraith because it left a footprint, so I ruled that out. And I got a picture out of it. I should have gotten a picture of the bone and picked it up while I was in there. Let's see. Dots is not a thing. So it's either Ghost Orb, Spirit Box, Ghost Rating, or EMF5. I just 
just pushed over an object. And it's trying to close the door. What's up with a Hantu? Gotta be, I think I have to be careful between Hantu and Mimic. I could confuse one for the other. But there's no Ghost Orb, so... If there's no Ghost Orb, then it wouldn't be a Hantu. I'd say that's pretty certain. So it's either a Jin, Demon, or a Mimic. I haven't suffered any sanity attacks, so it doesn't seem like it's a Jin. So it's either a demon or a mimic. The two ghosts I hate the most. Well, wait. Well, wait a minute. I'm doubting that it's a Mimic. So it's either a Demon or a Jinn. My chances are not looking good here. Tell you what, I got this. So if it comes after me, I can smudge the thing. Might be good practice. Then I'll run the hell upstairs. Where are you? What do you want? How old are you? Is this working? How old are you? I should have gotten a picture. Okay, so it's a croaker. Did I suffer? I wouldn't say that I suffered huge sanity drain from that. So it's either a mimic or a demon. For a demon, it's... No ghost writing, though. No ghost writing in a spirit box. A gin. Turning off the location's power sources will prevent it from using its ability. Jin is trapped at faster speed if its victim is far away. I don't know. I didn't get a... Why didn't it give me a picture of the bone? That was mean. Or did it... Oh, I already got it. No, oh, because I... Okay. Tried to take a picture of the f footsteps and got the bone instead. That's why. Never mind. Jeez, so how do I do this? I've used my smudge stick. I have to either roll something in or out. It's one of those two.
Zero pictures left on this. If I can just get ghost writing and prove it, I'll get the heck out of here. Where are you? How old are you? What do you want? Can you write in the book? The only thing I'm really concerned about is a demon hunt right now. But I can't prove that it's a demon. Certainly no dots. Let's try. Where are you? What do you want? How old are you? All those tries of getting ghostwriting. <laughs> After all those tries of getting ghostwriting and spirit box and getting nothing, I think it's fairly safe that the to say that the evidence is gonna be EMF five. That's my gut. I'm gonna go with it. We're gonna call it a gin. But it's kinda of odd that I didn't suffer any sanity attacks, so I could be really wrong about this. In any case, I got one, two, one, two, three, four, five photos, so that's something. Let's end it here. I had to make sure I had it circled. What was it, Jim? There's some jobs ready for you. Well, I guess I got lucky. I can't remember if it's the gin that hits you with that sanity attack. I could be wrong, but... Okay, um, that took a little longer than I wanted it to. And with my first run in the Tanglewood house, I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to stop this one here. I'll debate on doing the farmhouse again before the high school. In fact, that might be a good combo. Do the farmhouse one more time and then try the high school. But then what I wanted to do in the high school was try it once with the sound sensors and once without to really see how well uh, both strategies do, to see if the sound sensors really are of any use at all. So we'll see what happens in the next video. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next one.